you you talked a lot about the support system and i'm wondering have you how have you dealt with people who weren't necessarily a good fit for your support system oh my that, gosh um, that's a hard question because um there have been some people that have been bad for the support system and and even like super specifically within this project um mm -hmm. there have been a couple of people that i've interacted with that i'm like oh you are highly qualified to be in my in my like support group you are offering your support but i have seen you do some like not super cool things mm -hmm. to people in the past and like if we're going to be honest i think that like even though you have some amazing talent to bring, like that is not worth the risk. Um, like I am not willing to take, take the chance that you are going to like decide that, that there's something about what I'm doing that you don't like. And you are going to go on, on like a, a metaphorical rampage and I'm going to pay the price for that. Um, mm -hmm. That like there's, there's going to be, there's going to be some people. And so I think like in that situation, like, obviously be polite, obviously be kind, like lead with politeness, lead with kindness, lead with love, but, but accept like, Hey, I do not need to continue engaging with you. Like I, I, we can call it, we can call it quits here. Like I have, I have done my, my, I'm going to be good to you, but I'm not going to continue seeking your assistance. It also helps if you have a backup, like, Oh, like, thank you so much for this. This is already lined up, and so and so I appreciate your your support in this, but I'm I'm in I'm in good shape right now, um, and uh, and so like that like that kind of interaction uh, generally helps a lot. Mm -hmm. That's that's some great insight. And, um, Not always a walk in the park to to navigate those relationships. Re relationships aren't easy to begin with even the good ones yeah and so um i think there are a lot of people out there that um, even have love and compassion and want the best for us but um their way of um their way of doing that sometimes turns into a um just just give up um you're wasting your time um or a it, it becomes so concerned about the peripheral things that it doesn't necessarily support the the vision and the direction that someone who's creative is going um, someone who's got a big vision for the future. And yeah, sometimes we have to take detours. Um, but that doesn't mean that we we give up um in the process. Absolutely. And um and so it has been just awesome connecting with you, Collins. Thank you so much for uh for sharing. Again, everyone, this has been um, C.L. Van Lu, and he has just dropped on Kickstarter The Desert Queen, book number one in the Sundial Odyssey series. Um, I am extremely excited about reading this to my own kids, and I'm sure that you will appreciate this work of art that he has put his, I'm sure, blood, sweat, and tears into. And I hope that you have been blessed and enjoyed this opportunity to connect. Um, thank you so much, Collins, for taking this opportunity and for sharing your heart and your passion project with us. Thank you, Dan. I really appreciate it. And thank you for taking some time with me tonight. It's, you know, like it's time away from the family. It's time away from uh, things that you could be doing. So I, I appreciate you. Uh, yeah. Taking some time to sit down and talk and excited to see where things go. And I, I hope you guys really enjoy the series. Let me know. OK, absolutely. I am certain that we will. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you. You too.